blue and clear almost to the point of morning. Strong north winds beating against the electrical wires overhead. The silver coupe reflecting that blue sky on a shining frame. Me at its wheel and with her in the passenger's seat as per usual. I didn't know where this was, but the real problem was that we were going to run out of gas soon. We didn't have that much money to begin with, and after various convenience store purchases, we had even less. Only about 7,000 yen left. Of course, I had no idea how many litres this car took, but we probably had enough money to fill the tank once. We still didn't really have a destination or anything, but if we didn't fill up, we could not go anywhere anymore. I'm gonna fill up on gas. I see. And with that, I turned the steering wheel and drove into a gas station that was coming into view. Okay. Okay. With this music, I've got to come up with a good voice for this. I, I don't know why. I kind of want to give him a, like a Slavic accent. No idea why. Just fancy doing it, probably because it's one that I can, I can at least sort of do. Welcome! That was terrible. Anyway. Welcome! Will you be paying by cash or credit? Cash, please. Regular or premium? Regular? Premium? I had no idea. Well, then again, I had no idea about anything in this car. On top of that, it had been a long time since those driver's license classes. Which one would you like? Well, um... There I was, the lost for words, and there stood the gas station attendant waiting for me. And then, just as I was about to answer at random, because I didn't care which one of the two it was, she spoke from the passenger seat. Regular, please. Huh? Oh, okay. Regular, then. Okay, then. Oh, sorry. That was me saying that. This is, uh... This is the attendant. Okay, then, regular full tank paying with cash? Um, yeah, that'll be all. Okay, then, thank you very much! The attendant skillfully began his operation with those cheerful words. The strangely disagreeable smell of gasoline wafted in from the window that I'd opened roughly ten centimetres. You know, roughly that exact distance. <laughs> Also, I like the smell of petrol. No idea why. Like, it's one of those smells that a lot of people don't like, but I, I quite enjoy it. Gasoline and freshly cut grass, both at the same time. Mmm. Yes. Hey, are you sure that this thing takes regular? Hmm. She said nothing at all to this and just pointed at the prices list. Oh, so that was it. It was cheaper this way. I didn't understand it very well, but I didn't think there was that much difference in price. And then I saw the gasoline meter and the number of litres being displayed. <laughs> oh Christ, excuse me. 25, 26, 27, 28. The numbers were going by at an incredible speed. Maybe I made a mistake. I began to get a little worried as I watched those numbers climb. I told him to fill the tank a while back, but I didn't have that much money on hand. Even with the coins, I only had about 7,000 yen, and of course I had no idea how many litres this tank took. What was I going to do if I didn't have enough money? I did some quick calculations, and I realised that after 60 litres, I wouldn't have enough. 38, 39, 40, 41... The numbers kept climbing without slackening pace at all, and I became more and more worried over something I usually didn't give a second thought to. Damn, how many litres does this thing take? I'd let the words out before I knew it. Don't worry, it'll be over soon. Huh? This has a 50 litre tank, see? And just as she'd said, the gasoline meter stopped between 47 and 48. The sound of a receipt being printed out and the attendant at my window again. Thank you for waiting. The total comes to 5,240 yen. Oh, okay. Yeah. I took out a 5,000 yen note and a crumpled 1,000 yen note from my pocket and handed them to the attendant. All right, then your change comes to 760 yen. Here's your receipt. Thank you for your business. 
I turned straight onto the road upon hearing the attendant's cheerful voice. The silver coupe now in motion once more. On the bright side, I was no longer worried about running out of gas. On the not-so-bright side, we only had about 2,000 yen left. This worried me, but there was something that preoccupied me much more. Hey. Question? Could it be that you're an expert on cars, too? Not really. What do you mean, not really? You knew that this car took 50 litres of gas. Hmm. Of course, it may have well have been this kind of thing was absolutely common knowledge that I just didn't have. But she'd proven that she was an expert on these roads not so long ago. Having me caught by surprise twice now, I took out the vehicle spec from the glove compartment. And of course you know the make and model of this car as well, don't you? Is that a question? You can think of this as a quiz, if you want. Hmm. Integra Type R Coupe. Correct. And the specs. Look at this. People and people learning to drive. Do not read at the wheel, okay? Do not... You shouldn't be doing anything at the wheel aside from driving. And possibly enjoying some tasty jams, okay? Slav on your jams. Welcome to the slam. And, you know, drive. That's, that's all you should be doing. 99 model year, 5 speed, max 200 horsepower. I had no expectation that she'd actually answer. I almost involuntarily followed along the vehicle spec sheet as she rattled off figures with total disinterest. Length, 4380. Width, 1695. Engine displacement, 1797cc. Do you want me to go on? No, it's alright. You're correct, and also totally Tony Stark or something. I put the vehicle spec sheet back in its place. I couldn't believe my ears, but she nailed every single spec. I didn't think one could just memorize these things, and I couldn't even venture a guess as to why she had, but right before my eyes, she'd gotten every single spec correct. And thinking back to the roads and flowers, I was getting the impression that she knew a lot about a lot. Hey, just... Why do you know so much about everything? Hmm... It's nothing. It's just that I'm older than you. And with that bare response, she went back to her usual silence. Oh, it's because she was watching TV so long! And all she got was trivia! That's all she's been doing! Oh, yeah. With her staring out the window again, I didn't find myself able to throw any more questions at her. Older. It really didn't look that way at all, but this was something she'd said before, too. Her name was Setsumi, her blood type was O. Those were written on her white ID bracelet. There was very little indication to show me that she was older than me at all. End. Around when the sun started peeking out from under the clouds. Ooh, the silver coupe speeding along. No destination, no place to go, just running forward. No more worries about gasoline, but no more money either. Only about 2,000 yen left. Oddly enough, for three to four more days at most of convenience store food, Alright, so now what do you want to do? I have no idea what you mean by that. I mean that we have no more money left. And so? Look, you... Her appearance is unchanging as ever. In this conversation we were having while eating rice balls bought at a convenience store not long ago. Finally, the fact that even if we were driving along like this, we were using up gasoline little by little. Maybe it might have been better to just stay still without doing anything at all. But it was impossible for me to stay still without doing anything, without shooting for anything. And I kept driving with those feelings at heart. If we just kept driving on normal highways, we'd run out of gas in about three days. Likewise, we only had enough for three to four days worth of food, with the 2,000 yen we had left. We were obviously going to become too poor to do anything soon enough. Hey, do you want to try going to this Awaji Island? Hmm. No reply. She just kept staring out the window as usual. I think I might want to. 
Why? Well, that's... It wasn't as if we'd escaped from 7F with any goal or destination in mind. Because east or west, no matter where, anything was fine with me. But maybe that's why I wanted a goal and a destination, because anything was fine with me. Around when the daylight had given over to the darkness of night. I'd stopped the car in the parking lot of a pachinko parlor. Pachinko! Sorry. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't planning on winning any money through pachinko or slots. I knew that there wasn't much I could do on just 2,000 yen alone, but if I was skillful enough, I just might be able to swipe 10,000 or 20,000 yen. That was my guess, based on the many times I've been to pachinko parlors in the past. If I only had that much, we'd be okay in the first place. We might even be able to get to a Waji Island on that amount. And so, I told her about the plan that I'd just thought up. How about it? Want to try it out? No. Okay. Very well. I'd expected it, but she shot me down immediately. I hadn't hoped that she'd cooperate with me, with me in the first place, and I'd told her about my plan as a... Fate accompli. I have no idea how that's pronounced. Not because I wanted her aid in it. All right, then wait here. I got out of the car and strode into the pachinko parlor alone. <laughs>